we had a driver come in and he was complaining about a strange noise under the hood when he was pulling hard. Uh, when he was in cruise on flat ground, no real, no real strange noises. So we checked the obvious, you know, the boost leaks and all that. Couldn't really find anything wrong. And so then uh, we decided to do the high pressure fuel pump test because we saw a couple 559s and I think the other one was 2347. The, the 23 fault, uh, that was for, that's when the ECM says it thinks that the fuel filters are plugged. And it's usually because rail pressure measured doesn't quite meet commanded for a short period of time. So uh, other than that, it was running good, and the, he hadn't remembered the the light being on for the 559. So we uh, open a hood. Everything sounds okay. We're looking around. We checked for charge air leaks, all the obvious stuff, you know, boot leaks, etc. Didn't see anything. So then we decided to do the high pressure fuel pump test. And when we did that, the fuel pump started making a really loud noise. It was. Uh, rattling, very, very pronounced noise. Enough that people walked over in the shop to take a look at it and see, you know, what was making the noise. So it was unusual at best. Also, we noticed on our high pressure test, which if you go check my 559 videos, you'll see that that test takes the fuel pressure up to about 29,000. Well, the fuel pressure commanded was at 29,000 but the measured never got over about 25.5, 25.7. Never hit 26,000. Very unusual. And the pump's very noisy. So we decided there's something going on. We need to pull the pump off. So this uh, short video, you're going to see what we found inside the pump. And when I show you the uh, video, I'll tell you what, what we think it was. So here you go. So we've got the head off the cam housing, we've got the tappets out of it, and this is what a bare cam housing looks like. And look at that bore. What looks like those, uh, what looks like white lines down the side are actually gouges. You see the heavy polishing there about 10 o'clock? It's at about 5 o'clock in the front bore. Very heavy polishing. Oops. Now I'm rolling it over to look at the cam lobe. Those are three. Uh, Most like triangles. That one looks good. This one looks good. Everything looks good. Uh, we've got the alignment pins out of there. Everything else in the cam housing looks good, but the tappet bores are a disaster. The back looks good. The bushings in there, it's not spun. There's no metal chips. All good. So we ordered a cam housing and two new tappets and the head gasket and the gaskets or o-rings for the back and the mounting gasket and uh, we installed the pump and put the head on and got it all back together and that fixed it the fuel pressure went right up to 29,000 like it should have and the driver said it's been running good since no light no no uh, check engine lights pulls good so uh what we think happened, we always like to know what happened. I don't know if you remember, but back in the day when Cummins uh, first came out, these high pressure common rail pumps, they were using ceramic plungers in them instead of steel. And they're about the size of a cigarette, a little bit shorter. And, and there's two of those in each, each pump, one in each chamber. And that's what actually makes the high pressure. Uh, and that cam lifts that up through a spring and a big tappet with a roller. So uh, they were making those out of ceramic and they were exploding. And there was a reason for that. It wasn't that they were defective, but I'm not going to go into why they were exploding. But they were exploding and those pieces would fall down inside the pump. Well, they had a campaign uh, a, a number of years ago where all the engines that they knew had those ceramic plungers. They paid whoever owned the truck or, or shops to, they took care of the bill to uh, take those out and put in steel. You had to buy a whole big assembly. You couldn't just pull that out and put the new one in because they're a class fit. And then that problem went away. But I suspect on this pump, 
one of those broke or both of them broke and those metal, those uh, ceramic chips got down on, on the, in the side between the plunger and the tappet, or I should say between the, the cam bore and the, the tappet, and that's what gouged it all up. And then it just got bad enough that the tappet started hanging because the tappets were a little bit loose in there. They're usually like a nice sliding fit because there's plenty of oil up in there, believe me. So uh, we think that's what happened, that uh, there was a failure, and whoever took care of it probably took the pump off, cleaned everything out good, because those chips will destroy your engine if you don't get them cleaned out and let them run through the oiling system. Okay, uh, next video you'll see will be how to install the pump, and we bought the tool to install the pump because the, the cam housing has to be timed, but... I'm going to show you how to install it without buying the tool. You got to do a little extra work, but it's not a big deal. So, see you next time. Thanks for joining me at Neural Splendor.